Here's a quick overview of the MobiScope desktop application. As you can see here in my example, I've just got two of four possible cameras I could have connected. The one on the upper left, you can see from my hand, is actually a camera here just pointing at my desktop. And then the one over to the right is what I call my kitchen cam. So if I click on either one of them, then I can zoom up that particular picture uh, to full screen inside of the application, as well as do things like start the recording over here, set motion detector settings and the camera settings, as well as to use the scheduler feature. And you can set up a schedule, use that in combination with motion detection. So you could say, I want to record from 8 o'clock in the morning until 6 o'clock at night, but only when there is motion detection. And then otherwise, the motion detection will not do anything after those hours. So you can limit the time that it would actually be recording. Otherwise, by default, say for like this kitchen camera, I have it set where it's just on motion detector. And this is actually running 24-7. And if I did want to reduce down the amount of storage, then I could use the scheduler in addition with that. And I'll show you over here on the recordings. Then here's an example of a recording. Uh, you can see all the different times that this kitchen cam has gotten recordings. And I'm doing this mostly just for the research of it and the fun of it. And I will probably tune this down. I'll be using it for real. And you can see there's a lot of instances through the day because it's a heavily trafficked room. And I'll play this particular video. You can see we even got the calendar picker so that you could go back and look. And so this is me just looking around here. And I've actually got it on four times speed. So let me take it back to just normal speed here and it is a little jerky because it's it's trying to compress down the video so it's not getting every frame but certainly if something were happening here and the, I'll give an example I could just grab a hold of the slider bar and move it along until I find here we go now let me back up here and there we are just moving about in the room so if you did want to see that video or if otherwise you want to be able to fast forward and get to a point where I come back on in and then say, okay, now let me go back just to normal speed because you've got one four times, 16 times, and 64 times if you really wanted to fast forward through. So that's very convenient in that regard. And otherwise, you can see I can scroll up and down and see throughout the day. So it's recorded up, up to the 4 o'clock time frame so far on today's date. Otherwise, if I jump back, then I can look at uh, different days and see what is recorded on those particular days.